Hello, hello, hatchlings. I'm so excited to be here live. I hope that we are live in the Facebook group. If you are watching the replay, hello. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today on this live video. So I'm just going to have a little check, see if we are actually live because I don't want to do a whole presentation and then not be live. That would be crazy. I think I just saw it pop up. I'm going to refresh Facebook. If you're here, just say hello to me in the comments. I want to know that you're here. I might not answer any questions until the end, if you don't mind. So yes, we are live. How exciting. Hello, everybody. I can see that some of you are watching. Great. Okay, so shall we get into it? Today, I am going to talk about when I find the right button. Are you heading in the right direction in your career? So we're going to have uh, three of these lives this week. So that's a lot of lives for me. And I was also on the Monday meeting uh, podcast slash live earlier. So I think you can catch a replay of that as well. Um, we'll post it in the Facebook group. And yeah, so as long as I don't lose my voice or anything, touch wood, I will be live today, obviously right now, um, to no, Wednesday at 4 p.m. GMT, so same time, and Friday at 4 p.m. GM GMT, so London time. So do check if you're on a different time zone. Uh, it'd be great if people could put in the comments just so I know you all can actually hear me and stuff like that. If people are here, just say, hey, that would be fantastic. Um, I think there's a bit of a lag, so I'm slightly ahead of you all. So yes, let's get going. So I'm going to go through this presentation and, the, and then at the end, I uh, will answer any questions that you might have. So I've seen that the same problems keep coming up again and again. They come up in the Facebook group. They come up in our mastermind as well. And, you know, we solve them and we help people in the MoGraph mastermind program. So if you're interested in that, you can always head over to motionhatch.com forward slash mastermind to find out more. But I thought what I would do with these is, is try and address some of these issues that you all uh, are having, you know, and um, pick some out each day and see, see what we can do for you all. So as well, if you want the replays of this, so you can watch them later again, or, you know, if you're watching the replay in the Facebook group and you want to kind of keep that link, if you go to motionhatch.com forward slash community, then you will be able to sign up to our newsletter and we will be sending out the replays on the email list. So do make sure that you sign up if you're not signed up there because I'll be sending out this replay after this. So yes. So we've also spoken about a lot of this stuff on the podcast as well. If you want to check that out, you can go to motionhatch.com forward slash podcast. And yeah, I think that it's great to do these live videos because I get to chat to you like as you're here, which is really cool, you know, so I like to interact with you on the Facebook group. So if you're, if you like this kind of thing and you want me to do more of them, you know, do comment and let me know because that gives me encouragement to sit here and go live with you all. So this, some of the issues that motion designers are facing at the moment, I think is like, a lot of overwhelm, you know, we're all just looking at Instagram and stuff always on our phones and being like, how can people make this great work, you know, and I can't do it. And it's really stressful and checking out Vimeo all the time and looking at all the great stuff people are doing. And we just feel a bit overwhelmed and maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Um, I just wanted to point out that this image is actually a little sneak peek of something that we're going to bring out next week for Motion Hatch 2. So you guys saw it here first, which is pretty exciting just going to let you mull over that image for a sec because I think it's really really nice and yeah I'm super excited so watch out for that next week. So some of the other stuff that uh, you know is coming up quite a lot is you feel like you don't have enough time to get things done maybe you're trying to do personal projects don't feel like you can fit them in you feel like you're working all the time on low paying clients working on stuff that you don't care about scared to email studios that you actually want to work with because you feel like you're not good enough. Like this comes up quite a lot. And, um, you know, I hope that we can tackle some of these kind of mindset things and uh, lacking in, you know, places to find professional feedback and constructive criticism on your work. This is actually what I'm going to try and tackle on Friday. So if you want to have your website or portfolio reviewed live on Friday at the same time as, 
we are doing this live now, then please do put that in the comments because I would love to look at your portfolios and hopefully help you and give you, you know, some constructive feedback that will help you in your career. So yes, so the two things that I want to tackle today on this live are you need a better understanding of where you're heading in your career because, you know, sometimes you feel like we're like, what am I doing next? Where am I going? You know, and what you should be working on next to help you make progress to get to the next step. There's a lot of next in that sentence. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, you know, if you're watching this live and you feel like you're pretty confident in what direction that you want to go in your career, then, you know, give me a yes in the comments. If you're like, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure where I should be going next, what I should be doing next to make progress, then give me a no. I'd love to uh, know what you're thinking about this. So think about what direction your career path is taking. So what I want you to do is imagine what you'll be doing in your life in three years time. Now that's quite hard. You're like, okay, Haley, you make trying to make us imagine three years time. Like it's tough, you know, it's tough to do this stuff. So like most people can't do it. So something that I found really important in my life is to visualize what my life will look like in the future. And, um, you know, I found that if I don't do this from personal experience that you kind of just get swept along in life, you know, and that might be in your personal life, in work, different things like that. And um, yeah, so this is actually a vision board. I just knocked this up pretty quickly, as you can see. And um, this is kind of a good way to start doing this. You know, maybe you kind of feel like you want to do more meditation, more traveling, be more grateful, spend more time with family. You know, this is just acts as a reminder and a source of inspiration and motivation to help you achieve your goals. So it's kind of a bit like a mood board for your life, really. So, so you're welcome to do that to create a little vision board. I, I like that kind of thing. But what I've found to be the most powerful thing is doing the perfect day exercise. Now, a lot of you have probably heard me talk about this before. So if you've done the perfect day exercise, do uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you if you've done that. And um, if you haven't done it, you can go to motionhatch.com forward slash perfect day and you can download this exercise and uh, for free, obviously. And um, I'm gonna go through it now and tell you a bit about why it's so powerful and how to use it. I'm just going to check in on the Facebook, just make sure it's all going well before we get into it. Yes, looks like we're live. Awesome. Yeah, if you're here, just give me a thumbs up so I know that you're here and uh, so I know that's all going well and dandy and you can hear me and everything because that would be bad if I did a whole Facebook live and no one could hear me. So yeah, um, cool. So let's talk about the perfect day exercise. So what the perfect day exercise does is you imagine your life in three years time and what it will look like. So you ask yourself questions like, what time do you get up in the morning? What do you do for work? How much of your day is spent on client work versus personal projects? How much of your day is family time? So this is like all aspects of your life, you know, it's not just your work. And that's why it's actually really important because it's, making you realize that all of this stuff is linked and that, you know, you kind of have to think of your whole life so that you can build the career or business that you actually want, not the one that you think that you want. So if, like I said before, if you want to go and download this for free, go to motionhatch.com forward slash perfect day. You can get the full exercise there and um, I'm sure it'll be very, very useful for you. So the perfect day exercise also helps us to visualize and build out our long-term goals. So, and it helps us align our goals with our values and what we want our life to look like. So this is why it's really, really important and really what it does very, very well actually is, you know, it helps you to build your career or business around something that around your values and stuff. So, you know, like family, traveling, things like this. Whereas I think what we tend to do is we would do, we would say like, oh, you know, I want to do this because that's what people in the motion design industry do. And we don't actually think about like, well, actually, what do you want your life to look like? That's super important. So this is a classic. Um, I love this one. 
uh, we have lots of people in our mastermind that come in and they're like, I want to start a studio, you know? And I think it's really, really important to consider like what that actually means. And it just always comes to mind when I'm thinking about like starting doing this perfect day exercise and things like that and getting people to do it is people always think the final aim of this industry is to start a studio and you know, you could do, and that could be awesome. But in fact, there's like lots of options. So that's not actually the point, but <laughs> that is true. There's lots of things that we can do in this industry. So I'd love to know from all of you guys watching out there. And like, if you're watching a replay, feel free to post in the comments too. Um, I'd love to hear, you know, what's your career dream? What do you want to do? What do you want your future to look like? I'd love to hear some of those in the comments. Maybe we'll go through some of them later as well. So please do post them below. So yeah, let's get back to, I want to start a studio. So the point is that you might believe that you want to start a studio, but actually, you know, a lot of things go into making a studio and you might end up being the person who needs to bring in the business for the company and do all the sales and all the marketing and things like that. And most artists that I know don't actually want to do all of this kind of stuff. So I think that's really, really important when you are thinking about, you know, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want my, my career to be to not just fall into the trap of like, well, this is what I think people should do. I mean, you know, motion design is a young industry. And I think that, you know, most people haven't quite gone through and come out to retirement or anything yet. So it's kind of, you know, these things are like muddy waters, but I just want you to know that there's lots of different opportunities and lots of different things that could pop up. And I think just putting a bit of thought into this stuff can really, really help. So yeah, you might be like, okay, Haley, but what if I'm just starting out so I really wish that I'd done the perfect day exercise when I started my career because what I actually did, I just got the first job that kind of came to me. I started a sports broadcasting company and I, I just hated it really. And I ended up working there for like three years. And I think that if I, you know, hadn't done that and kind of put a bit of thought, well, actually, what do I want my life to look like? What do I want my career to look like? And not come from this place of desperation and sort of put a bit more thought into it maybe I would have been in a in a kind of different place or got to somewhere a lot quicker. So I think it's good that, uh, for you to do it, even if you're just starting out, you know, so you can be more intentional about your career, that kind of thing. So yeah, so another example of how this can help us in our motion design career is making sure that we build our career and or freelance business in a way that aligns with our values. So I mentioned that before. Um, so this is, I love this scene. We could just like stare at this for a little bit, but um, say you want to like travel, you know, travel's important to you, stuff like that. You might want to consider trying to build a remote freelance business rather than um, pursuing the dream of being an in-house art director in a large studio or something like that, where you're going to have to kind of, you know, work in-house all the time and you won't be able to kind of go on holiday when you want and stuff like that. So I think that's how it kind of, you know, you can think about the perfect day exercise, ask yourself these questions and like align it with your values as well as your goals in your motion design career. So I think this tackles the question of, you know, you need a better understanding of where you're heading in your career. But what also the next question I wanted to tackle was what should you be working on next to help you make progress? So the perfect day exercise actually helps you do this. So after you've asked yourself loads and loads of questions about your life, what you want your life to look like in three years time, you know, you're visualizing it. It's like a normal Tuesday, you know, it's, you know, you're not on holiday or anything. It's kind of like you're getting up, you're going to work, what are you doing? What are you having for lunch? All those kind of things. Then it goes through and it breaks it down. So it asks you, you know, what should I be doing in two years time to get to my perfect day? So it kind of forces you to sort of make a bit of a plan. So then it says, what should I be doing in one year's time to get to my perfect day? What should I be doing in six months time to get to my perfect day? And what should I be doing in three months time to get my to my perfect day? And what should I be doing in one month's time to get to my perfect day? So the perfect day exercise, you know, breaks it down for you so that you can like figure out what those steps are to get to actually where you want to be, you know, instead of like making just these large career goals and we never kind of 
end up doing anything with them and they, they seem really far away so it's hard to grasp you know it actually makes you break it down towards like bringing it further towards you and then it's like what should you be doing right now to get to your perfect day and I think this is like the most important bit right because this is helping you figure out your next step but now you have a lot more clarity and a lot more focus so alongside this, I really recommend you read a book called The One Thing by Gary Keller, because this really, really helps with like prioritizing your goals and things like that to, you know, help create the results that you want. So Gary Keller's main question that he asks you is what's the one thing you can do such by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary. So it's all about like focusing and prioritizing on what the next step is to really like push in your business and in your career. So I really recommend reading that book. I think it's fantastic. So like I said, you know, I've tried to give you a brief overview of this perfect day exercise, but if you want to go and download it, you can go to motionhatch.com forward slash perfect day and you can get it there for free and just go through it and, you know, spend like a couple of hours on this, like thinking about it. You know, you can actually create a vision board for yourself to help you too because I know obviously we're visual people we're creatives so you can create a vision board and then you can do the perfect day exercise like it might help you to do that in tandem and what I like to do is just sit for a couple of hours and just write loads of stuff on post-it notes and then kind of link it up with the questions and not just like write what your kind of first idea is if that makes sense so then you know you want to think about your career dream that you thought of earlier and like does what you wrote in your perfect day exercise does that actually align with your career dream you know are there any surprises there so if you do this or if you've done this previously the perfect day exercise I would love to hear from you in the comments you know like were there any surprises did you think that you wanted to do something and then actually your perfect day didn't quite align with your career goal because that would be really interesting. And I think that's why this stuff is really important. So um, I imagine like in your career dreams, you know, some of you are thinking, okay, well, I want to work on with some of my dream clients. So what we're going to do is, you know, on we're going to do another live on Wednesday at 4 p.m. So it's 20 past four now so whatever time it is now if you're watching this live it'll be the same time on Wednesday and then on Friday at 4 p.m I'm going to review some portfolio websites as well just to kind of you know get you guys further along this path so if you want me to look at your portfolio websites do post them below either on this thread or on the other ones where I'm mentioning it and yeah like please do join me for all of these lives because it's really fun to chat to you on these kind of things so yeah, like I said earlier, the replays of all of these, if you want to, uh, you know, keep the links and stuff, go to motionhatch.com forward slash community and I'll send out the videos later after this live and then also for the other two so you can have the whole series there. So yeah, that was it for me today, just a short presentation for you, but I'd love uh, to hear from you in the comments if anyone has any questions about that or anything in general you know like I did mention this on the podcast this week as well so if you have anything there too feel free I think that I can't see a lot of stuff so I'm just going to refresh the Facebook page so yeah if uh, anyone has any questions or any comments then do let me know because I'd love to hear from you I can see that I go put his reel in there that's great Russian speaking freelancer I'm now in Germany I've got some issues with finding new clients okay well yeah I'll have a look at your website definitely we'll have a look at that on Friday and we can uh, try and help you out there so that's awesome thank you so much for posting that and yeah so if no one has any questions maybe we will wrap it up but if you are watching this, because I know a lot of you don't watch these things live, you tend to watch them, you know, after the fact. I will just put my camera back on one sec. Yeah, so I was just saying, I know a lot of you don't watch this stuff live because, you know, you're busy, you're doing your projects, that kind of thing, which is cool. So if you're watching this later on, you want to ask me any questions about the perfect day exercise or anything really, just, you know, post it in the comments. I'm happy to 
you know, chat to you all about this. This is what this is about, you know, interacting with each other, trying to help each other and that kind of thing. So do let me know if you have any comments and do let me know if you want me to review your portfolios, post them below too. Let me know if you've done the perfect day exercise and you found it helpful or, you know, if you're going to do it and then post your results below as well. Did you, anything surprise you about it? Did you change your career dream because of doing the perfect day exercise? Really do do this and spend time on it because I think it is really helpful and, and I like to do it like at least once a year. So I found that it really helps me. So yeah, please do join me on Wednesday and Friday as well. I'll be doing these short presentations and then there'll be time for Q&A as well. So yeah, thanks so much, everybody. And I think we'll finish it up there and I will send you the replay. Remember, if you're not on the newsletter list, you can sign up at motionhatch.com forward slash community. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. See you later.